So doubling problems are pretty common, and uh, when we're dealing with geometric series, we might sometimes need to add those up. So suppose we have a job where you get a penny on the first day, two pennies on the second, four on the third, and so on. So they keep doubling it. Well, what if we want to know how much total we're going to have after two weeks? Then what we're doing is we're summing up the first 14 numbers of a geometric sequence. So a sum of a geometric sequence is the first term, times 1 minus the common ratio to the number of terms all over 1 minus the common ratio. Now if we're doubling every time and we're doing it for two weeks, let's say, then n is 14. Let's just do it in pennies and we'll convert afterwards. a sub 1 is 1 and our common ratio is 2. So setting this up, s sub 14 equals 1 times 1 minus 2 to the 14 over 1 minus 2. Now be sure that 14 is right on the 2. A lot of people will put the parentheses before the 14 that will make it wrong. Now we can put this all in at once if we're careful so that we can adjust, make any adjustments on the fly. So 1 minus 2 to the 14 and you'll actually realize the power of doubling which is pretty significant. The denominator has to go in parentheses to 1 minus 2. So, after 14 days, we will have 16,383 pennies. Or, $163.83. Not bad considering we started out on a penny. What if we did this for a 30-day month? So, S sub 30. The only thing that changes is 1 times 1 minus 2 to the 30th over 1 minus 2. So I only have one small adjustment to make in my calculator. I can bring my formula again, change my 14 to a 30. I don't know if you can see how long that number is. Here's how many pennies we have. 0, 7, 3, 7, 4, 1, 8, 2, 3. So in dollars and cents, uh, we got eight one four seven three seven. We'd have over ten million dollars if we did that for thirty days. Not a bad deal. It's the power of doubling, but that's how we can do a sum up a geometric series with a finite geometric series with our formula.